Targeting mode. Copy that. Coordinates are locked. Okay, ready to commence fire. No, and I'm locked out. What the hell's going on? I can't get it back. Where are the drones? Major, I... We'll find them! We have a serious problem. It has begun. Major, re relocated the drones. Where are they? Five, four, three, two, mark. Sir, there's a missile head right towards us. Kane Smith, you're a hard man to track down. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Yes, you are. Interesting location for a briefing. Call it a pre-briefing. Just want to make sure this story is arrow straight before we take it in. So you want to tell us what happened? I don't know. It was just a routine test. A routine test of what? Our complete and utter incompetence? The coordinates were double-checked. The captain in charge entered the correct codes. I reviewed them myself. What happened shouldn't have happened. You don't think? So what then? A glitch? A cyber attack? I don't know. So, you miss it? Do I miss what? Being out on the field. Playing. I don't understand. Yeah. I don't either. Your file says that you went here. Played football. 
But when we followed up on that, they had no record of you. None. I thought our orders were to bring him in. The order just got changed. Casual drinker. I don't okay. drink. Well, how the update in the death toll? No, I think if you say you don't drink, it sends the wrong message. Will you stop? 35 no. dead? What? That's a travesty. How many injured? <sighs> oh, they better not try and whitewash this. Yeah. All right, I'll give you a call back when I get to my desk. Hey, you like going to the beach, right? No, if this conversation is over. Look, every year, thousands of singles find their match online. Actually, the chance of finding the one online is 265,000 to one. Ooh, good with numbers. Can I put that down? The nerdy vibe could totally work. Do you care at all about what's going on out there? There's a cyber attack on our military and the government's trying to cover it up. That is your department. My department is just cover-ups and breakups and makeups and makeovers. <laughs> no, I am not doing online dating. I don't like being online unless it's for work. I hate technology. You know this, okay? Into discussion. Oh my god, is that a present? Do you have a secret admirer? Or have you been holding out on me? No, this is, mm -hmm. uh, this is my childhood address. I haven't lived there in over 20 years. Seriously? Well, maybe somebody found something in the attic or something. After 20 years? Well, I've heard crazier. Hank, did you see when this package came in? No idea. You want me to bring it back through security? No. Oh. No, oh, thanks. This is freaking me out. Open it. Hmm. Ooh, I see jewelry. In home movies? Are you okay? You have anything that will play VHS? <laughs> I haven't used one of these things in like 15 years. I saw this in a movie once. We could all die in seven days, you know. Molly, hi. Um, I know I've never been very good with tact or emotion. Things you are no doubt feeling very strongly right now, so I will keep this brief. Because the world as you know it, millions of people, our very way of life is being threatened. And if you're watching this tape, it's because I wasn't successful in stopping it. I know, honey, I know. It sounds crazy, but things are starting to happen that will be out of everyone's control. Go find a man by the name of Thomas Kelso. He, his, his real name is Adam, and if you call him that, he'll know to trust you. Molly. I need you, honey. The world needs you. And the clock is ticking. Um, okay. This is obviously a hoax and a really bad one at that. I mean, didn't your dad pass away like 20 years ago? Yeah, well, <laughs> my parents gave this to me when I was eight. It's my birthstone, I thought I lost it. So if it's a hoax, it's a damn good one. Can 
can you, uh, can you make a copy of this VHS? Oh, sure thing, Mo. Um, it'll take some time, but I can digitize it and upload it to the server. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I, I need to send it to the FBI as soon as possible. Sure. Do you want to help me find this Adam? You mean Thomas Kelso? Yeah, whatever. Sorry, my head's kind of spinning right now. I've got 15 Thomas Kelsos in the Los Angeles area. Hey, Kelso. Why don't you use a dolly like everyone else, huh? This is easier. Yeah, if you're a pack mule, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I just need you, John Hancock here. What are you watching? Are you kidding me? We started bombing ourselves. You telling me you hadn't heard about this? No. Yes, Billy. Yeah? Yeah. Kelso, it's for you. Grab that phone back there on the wall. Am I speaking to Thomas Kelso? Yeah, speaking. I'm not sure I have the right guy. Who's this? I'm actually looking for a guy by the name of Adam. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry, I didn't. Who is this? It's hard to explain on the phone. This, this is Molly, Molly Weeding. And... I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. What? That was weird. That was the last of them. Weird is LA, baby. <laughs> hey, Billy. Any other calls coming for me today? No. Would your long lost aunt leave you a small fortune? <laughs> Hey, you gonna sign this or what? Kelso!
McTeague. Secure call from the president for you, sir. Thank you. Sam, please tell me that a few hackers with some laptops have been broken into the most secure computer systems in the world and started to wage a war against us. It would seem that way, sir. There is a possibility that it could be a lot worse. Worse? Within the last five hours, three nuclear subs have gone rogue and several military satellites have come online and are not responsive. Every command is authentic. Every command is coming from the proper channels. No one could override these orders, not even me. You want to tell me how that's even possible? I could give an answer, sir, but you're not going to like it. I can assure you of that. Enough bull. I don't have to tell you of all the people that these satellites are capable of, do I? They've made what happened in Yuma look like a damn carnival. Well, this foreign or domestic uh, echelon has been compromised. Uh, my advice to you, sir, is to take it offline before it before it's too late. It might even be too late. Sir. Just got word that we have agents apprehending one of the fugitives now. Then those agents are dead, sir. I count 25 bodies, sir. That's everyone minus the girl. What a mess. That's her. That's our target. Gates. Sir, we have a visual on our suspect entering the building. She is likely armed and dangerous, so proceed with extreme caution. Yes, sir. I'm on my way to you now. Hey, how are you? Good. looking for you. They will kill you for what they think you know. Do you understand? Not if you understand. Air support is here, sir. Standing by. Copy that. We're going in now.
gotta move. On your recommendation, Protocol 9245 has been enacted. The president has been moved to a secure location, and all communications will be coming through an encrypted line. Well, now he listens to me. Welcome to the Dark Ages, gentlemen. What about Washington? Will they take Ashland offline? No, too many of our troops and our foreign interests will be compromised. They want more proof. Proof. Well, there's the U.S. government. Fast to act, slow to react. Have you triangulated who fired that satellite yet? No, we have men on it right now, sir. Well, good luck with that. Any intel on the fugitives? That's Kane Smith. He was shot and killed last night by one of our agents after an altercation. Do you have a body? No, sir. Then he was shot, not killed. Sir, that woman there is Molly Weedy, daughter of Charles Weedy, the man who created Echelon. Ironic, no? She's our prime suspect, sir. You think? Thomas Kelso, who is he? That's not his name. The man's had over 20 aliases in the last 20 years. Can't confirm anything about him. You need to see this. It appears Kane's still alive. We have surveillance footage from the break-in at Sorbin Laboratories. Like I said, shot, not killed. Who are your agents running point? Agent Gates and Travers. You should bring them in for a briefing. If they're still alive. What happened to my building? Tell me what's going on. Calm down. I need to know how you knew how to contact me. Uh, I got a package, okay? I got a tape, uh, VHS. My father, he, he said to contact you. I, I don't know how, but he said that you know what's going on. He said the world was in danger, and I didn't believe him until about two minutes ago. Where's the tape? Do you have it? Uh, it's back in my office. We can't go back to your office. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I have it uh, digitized. All I need is a computer to access it. It's not that simple right now. Come on. an upload of the chameleon virus to try to override the satellite's motherboards. And? Not happening. We're still locked out. It's like it knew what we were thinking. Intel coming in. The satellites are waiting to fire again. What are you up to? EAM ordering a strategic missile launch, sir. Are you sure? The message is authentic. Take us up to 100 feet. 10 degrees up, rigging for ultra quiet. Aye, aye. 10 degrees up, rigging for ultra quiet. Thank you, command on the line. I want to know what's going on here. USS Ohio to command. USS Ohio to command. Shut the door. What is that? A little secret of mine. You have a lot of secrets, I take it. Yeah, they keep me alive. We knew that what we were working on was dangerous. 
You worked with my father. What were you, like 13, a child prodigy or something? Something like that. My father was a computer scientist. How could it have been dangerous? It made the atomic bomb look like a firecracker. OK, OK, great, great. What does any of this have to do with me? They think you're behind it. What? Molly, they killed your father. No, my father's death was an accident. It wasn't an accident. Your father was going to shut down the project. His partner at the time, Brian McTeague, sold them all out. Then, then what about you? I was a ghost in the machine. No one knew of my involvement. Your father kept it that way on purpose. There were six members on the project's team. Within a year, four were dead. When they got to your father, I knew I'd be next. I went into hiding. That's what I've been doing ever since. When is this dangerous project? Echelon. The computer program. Echelon is much more than a computer program. That's why your father wanted to shut it down. He knew that one day it would become sentient, alive. That day is today. The more it learns, the more it will wage a war against its biggest threat, humans. Wait a second. No. OK, no, no, no. So, 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 so I, I, go, I go to the police. I, I turn myself in. I take a life Molly, picture test. they're trying to kill you. They're not going to believe you. We have to figure out what your father was trying to tell us, OK? I need you to log in. Now. OK. All right. OK, have a relay set up. As soon as you go on, our location will be compromised. So I need you to be I quick, get it, okay? OK? I get it. OK, quick. OK. Mom says we're below acceptable cabin O2, sir. That's impossible. Do a systems check on all stations. All stations report immediately on all systems. Repeat. All stations report immediately on all systems. And send someone now. Bets, go below check systems. Hell is going on with my stuff? Sir, our reserve and ballast air just blew. Alert one! Alert one! Do a systems check. The system is not responding. <laughs> Evacuate the bridge! Evacuate the bridge! The bridge. Come on! Evacuate! <laughs> Me. There is something here, we're just not seeing it. Nothing is there by chance, that's how your father works. What makes you so sure? Because I knew your father. That makes one of us. It's not what he's saying, it's what he's not saying. Wait. There, behind him on the wall. What language is that? German. All things are poison. Nothing is without poison. Only the dose permits something to not be poisonous. OK, well, what is it? Is it a riddle? No, it's not. It's Paracelsus, a 15th century scientist, one of your father's heroes. Uh, how does it help us? There, the diploma. Yeah? Oakdale University, the library. That's what he's telling us. Oh, OK. You got all that from the video? We got to go. Come on, we gotta move. Okay, I'm going.
moving. Get up the stairs. Who are we running from? No time to explain. Come on, move. Go, go. They're robots. Great, even better. Oh my god! Oh. Go! What are you doing? In here! Oh. What are we doing? Take this! What? Spray the door! Why didn't you spray it? I'll disorient them. I need a few seconds. Keep blasting. Okay. It's not working. Come on, blast him again. It's out. It's out. It's not working. Do something. Come on, cover your eyes. We don't have to be enemies, Adam. Echelon's in charge now, as it should be. You could choose to be on the side of what's right. Killing innocent people? You have no idea what's right. That depends on your definition of innocent. Are you okay? Take the bag, Molly. Okay. Run. Go. You don't control me. It's already over. Millions are going to die. You'll destroy everything. Only the things that need to be destroyed. This is Judgment Day.
us out of here. Yeah. Oh my god. What are you? What are you? What is that? Calm down, just listen. No, 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 no! Don't, Molly, he'll kill you! Okay? No, no! Listen, I'm done asking stupid questions. I want answers. I want the truth. Why were we called in? We were close. Close to being killed. What are you talking about? Who are you? Oh, my name's McTeague, and the game's changed, gentlemen. Well, we don't have to worry about Kane Smith. I took care of that. That's highly unlikely. I thought the program had been terminated. It wasn't. Hybrid humans, gentlemen. Mainly flesh and bone, but part machine. Unfortunately, we believe Echelon has uh, taken them over. You mean whoever hacked into Echelon? No, I mean Echelon. Apart from crippling the US military, we believe it's using them as his hands and feet. And they can't be killed? Weapons were created to terminate them, but they were stolen from the lab. <laughs> well, there are alternative means, gentlemen. Alternative means? What kind of crap is that? The most serious crap this country's had to face, Agent. You people, are you open up Pandora's box, and we have to go clean up your mess. Agent Gates, forward progress is always met with two steps back. But make no mistake, you cannot stop progress. Well, that's cute. The world's falling apart out there, and you're in here quoting motivational posters. Uh, what about the, the, the third one? Adam. We can never be certain that Weeding actually created an Adam, a first prototype. My guess? Thomas Kelso is Adam. If that's Adam, and we know that's Cain, Where's the other one? Where's uh, Abel? Well, all their whereabouts is at this moment uncertain. Finding them, that's your mess. Sir, the rogue satellites are preparing to launch. Make sure you bring Adam back alive. We may need him. Let's go. Give me the president on the line now. Sir. No limits, no boundaries. It's everywhere. We can't do this alone, though. I mean, I mean, can't we just go to the government? I mean, it's our government. They won't trust you. And sooner or later, they'll find out who I am. Uh, it's a risk we can't take. But they can shut it down. No, they can't. It's already gotten out. There's no way of shutting it down that I can think of. Then what are we doing? I said that I can think of. Right now, we're praying that your father already thought of something. 16 years ago. He brought it into this world. I'm hoping he has a plan to take it out. No 
the White House. This is bad, man. This is some weather control stuff. Nah, shut mm. up. I'm telling you, this is high-tech, black-budget military stuff being used against us. Lasers, nanobots. For every three satellites we send into space, we only know what one does. Ultra-low frequency rays, it's all there, it's all real. Weird stuff going on, man. Weird stuff. Yeah. After Hiroshima, he knew that nuclear weapons would paralyze the world into a stalemate. That the next big weapon would be information, computers. He wanted to make sure that we were prepared to be the ushers of this new technology. How are we even sure this is here? It doesn't make sense, does it? No. It leaves too much to chance. Your father would never do that. He had to have left something for us here in this library. I hate that you knew my father more than I did. Are you kidding? He always spoke of you. You were his daughter. It was the light of his life. I'm glad he told you. Would have been nice if he said something to me. Your dad was a very interesting man. We'd all be squirreled away in these little cubicles, and he would bring out this old wooden step stool that he donated to the school. That's it. The stool. I Come on. OK. He's got to be here in the library. He said Thomas Edison used to use it to change light bulbs in his laboratory. OK. No one believed him, but that was your father. Somewhere. I think I found something. We're only on our birthday, Dad. There's gifts from beyond the grave you keep on giving. Excuse me? <clears throat> Excuse me? Please don't touch that. It's an antique. Did you break that? No. Are you students or faculty? No. I didn't think so. I'm going to have to ask you to leave before I call campus security. I don't know if you heard, but it's very serious what's going on outside. And I can't wait. We need to see what's on that. OK, screen. OK. No, 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 wait. Uh, look, we know what's going on. We just need to find out what's on this desk. Do you have anything that could read something so old? I, I don't. Um, please. Uh, all the outdated tech was moved to the library for a donation or trash. I thought this was the library. Uh, no, not here, the old library. Show us. OK. Sure. He's not going to shoot me, right? No. Probably not. Good enough. We're in a hurry. Yeah, follow me. This disc holds about 100K of information. All right, that's barely enough for a grocery list. What could possibly be on it that's so important right now? You look familiar. Do you go here? No. Uh, where is this stuff going? Uh, not sure. We recently got orders to donate it to a lot of places, but um, uh, most of it's just going to Weeding's old place. Charles? Uh, yes, this is actually his archival room. So a bunch of stuff is going to museums, but most come of his on, personal belongings, I get it, is going to his old cabin, going as fast as I can. Yeah, looks real important to me, guys. This can't be it. Well, maybe you haven't given peace a chance. OK, I'm kidding. OK, there has to be more on it. Nope, not on that disc. What's so important, anyway? People are following us. What? Yeah. You need to print this out. OK, OK.
Can I help you? Excuse me. Have you seen these two people? Uh, yeah. They were here a few minutes ago. Which way did they go? Uh, I, I think they went out those doors over there. Thank you. Okay, just a phone. Please don't kill me. Somebody following you? It's Kane. Molly, we need to go. Yeah. We need to leave now. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the box where, where this is going, the cabin, where yeah, is it? It's uh, just a few miles north of here. Okay. The address is on this delivery slip. Yeah, yeah. thank you, thank you. Hey! Oh! Stay here. Yeah. Be quiet. Okay. Okay. Adam? tell you I was right, but I mean, oh god, this is awesome. Join us, and you will survive. Choose them, and you will die. He chooses us. So you could see through walls, you could fly. You could First, I was thrown off that building. Second, I can't see through anything. And I'm not a superhero. I only wish I could fly. Right, right. I don't know. You just... You, you seem so human. That was the objective. That's how I was programmed. I just don't see how any of this is possible. So, this cabin, you know where it's at? Yes. Well, of course you do. <sighs> that guy? I, are you sure there's a clue in all this? There is. We just have to figure it out.
are you gonna do with that? Bag it and tag it. And get it back to Command ASAP. Where'd the others go? Uh, I don't know. You sure they didn't say anything about where they were headed? No, no, they, uh, they just took off. So... What were they looking for? Uh, just a place to hide. <clears throat> uh, a floppy disk, and they had some information on it. That's all. That's all they wanted. Uh, these, the, these things that were going com totally at it, and there were uh, lasers uh, flying. Uh, thing. I've never seen things. Think it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I actually got it on, on my phone. You, you that's guys unbelievable. See, do you want to see it? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't get all of it, but what I could, you know, whatever I could, you know, get, trying to do my part. <laughs> what the hell was that for? Well, I think you're forgetting that this is a mop-up, Agent Travers, and now he's unfortunate collateral damage. Are we chasing robots or becoming them? Watch yourself. There are still two fugitives out there who are a matter of national security. You mean the leader of a global terrorist hacking group that needs help with a floppy disk? Those fugitives? Like I said, you watch yourself. Clean it up and let's get out of here. No, 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 no. There are 2,500 SIGINT stations worldwide. AWACS, land-based platforms, submarines, mobile units. This is Echelon's lifeblood. We can't shut them all down. However, there are 300 of these stations based on U.S. soil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the international intelligence information comes back through our SIGINT station in... Maryland. In Maryland, thank you. If we can actually... Interrupt the flow of communication to Echelon. We can control it. Did it a crippling blow. We'll be back in the dark age. Shh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. If we can do this, we can actually momentarily control the satellites and disperse the storms. When do we expect landfall? About 18 hours from now. Good. Do we have any news back from Travers or Gates? Isn't this whole thing uh, way beyond two fugitives at this point, sir? We have a computer program that's waged war on us. And the daughter of the man that's created it is on the lam. We need to know two things, Agent. We need to know what she knows and why she's running. The chances of success of this operation are slim to none. And if shutting down Echelon doesn't work, we need to know what she knows and the answers to those questions. But what could she possibly want? Revenge! For what? She obviously knows the US government killed her father. I always thought this place was a dream. Like, a place I wish my father took me, but never did. But he did take you here. Yeah. All right, there's got to be something.
These star charts must mean something. Why else would they be shoved in here? You know, we used to sit here for hours and look at the stars. Show me the constellation, Virgo. It's my birth sign. The right star, Spica. Looks like one, but... But it's not. Spick is a binary star system. Yeah, of course you know that. And that's what he'd say. It looks like one, but it's really two. And even though it seems like I'm not there for you, I always am. A nice memory. Yeah, but he was never there. <laughs> These red marks have to mean something. Book real quick. <laughs> Poor Molly on your birthday. That's the clue. He never gave this to me on my birthday because he's trying to tell me something now. Virgo, my birth star. That's the clue. It's a basic cryptogram. We figured it out. We line up the center of the peace sign with your birth sign, Virgo. Each zodiac is associated with a number. Aquarius, 11. Scorpio, 8. Leo, Cancer, Taurus, 2, 3, 5. It's a 10 digit number. The highest probability of a 10 digit number is a phone number. A simple cryptogram like this would read from left to right, from top to bottom. It would make this an 800 number. I don't see how you can keep a phone in service this long. Remember, once your voice goes on, while it's game clock. I know, I know. Phantom Corp, this is operator 219. My name is Margaret. Um, hi, Margaret. Yeah, I was wondering, um, do you have something to tell me? Uh, I'm sorry, who's this? Phantom Kitchen. I could ask more questions. There's nothing more to ask. It's not right. Okay, okay, th this can't be it. There has, there's, so my father's up to something. He's, he's hiding. He's hiding li like, like you were. He's alive. He's... No. He's trying to tell us something. No, 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 no. We need to look at these numbers. We need to think of something. Millions of people are gonna die. I can't. No, what if it's him? What if, what if he's calling? He has a message or something. It's not him. We've exposed our location. Molly, the second highest probability of a 10 digit number. Map coordinates. than you already have. We're coming in. Cover your ears. Shoot on first sight. Gates, we have to bring them in alive. Three, two, Gates! Molly. 
Molly! Molly! Are you okay? Come on, we have to go. Yeah. Stop! Wait, we're not behind this. We're trying to stop it. No! Don't shoot. That storm is gonna hit landfall in a few hours. Millions will die. And that's just the beginning. Can you stop it? We can try. What do you need? A helicopter. Easy. Slowly. To take us to these coordinates. Beat up the location of the fugitives. Where? They're en route to an abandoned oil platform. 34.185 longitude, 550.08 latitude. Sir, where are you going? Give me transport. Get my helicopter. Take me to these coordinates. Thank you, Brian. They're headed right into the storm. platform still have lights. Look like it's been abandoned for years. This platform must have its own energy source. It's completely off the grid. Hidden from echelon the way we didn't want it. Wanted it? In case something like this happened. It has a direct feed to the PC-1. Submarine internet cable connecting the west to Japan. Must be a control number somewhere. Should split up. Find it. I'll go this way. Hey, keep your walk down for a moment. See him soon. And then I can tell him I'm sorry. How did you know about this place? <clears throat> Adam, me, me and your father discuss many scenarios. We always dreamed of an energy based platform not connected to the grid. And we even picked this one. <laughs> what happened to you? We're not alone here. You gotta stop him before he kills us all. 
Agent Travers, come in. Agent Travers. <coughs> Molly, stay here. What? No, wait! Agent Travers. Travers. Yeah, copy. I'm up here on the upper level. Where are you guys? We found the control room. But we're not alone here, so be careful. All right. Copy that. Are you looking for something? the bleeding. No, my, you, you don't have time. You have to listen to me. We created a show to protect us, to keep us one step ahead of our enemies. But your father said he would destroy us. I, I didn't listen to him. That's why they killed him. What? I forgive myself for that. Murdered me. Thank God, he left us at him. He's the only one that could stop this. There's a, an access panel in the base of his skull. And that the chair, that chair is connected to the main grid. Adam has to connect to the BC1 network. And then, and only then, can he defeat Ashlaw. What happens to Adam? You have to kill him. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. I, I can't do this. It's the only way if you want to defeat Ashla. Your father knew that. That's why he created Adam. There has to be another way. It's the only way. I can't do it. Father, hit him, Molly, because he's not human. Not human, he's more human than you'll ever know. He's programmed, trapped inside flesh and bones, wires, and the sole purpose in life is this moment to save us all. you you really do believe you're a human you have no understanding of logic or survival rather than sacrifice this one human to save millions you do nothing I do not understand that you are not programmed to understand you are programmed to kill perhaps that is best no Travers Hold on! us, Adam. But now we know they're no good. They created us to succeed, 
where they failed. That's our mission. That is not my mission. Humans have not been very good shepherds to this planet. In fact, they've been nothing but a virus. And like any virus, they need to be eradicated. <laughs> Come on, Adam. It's over. We are evolution. Molly. Hello, Molly. Sorry, this is the natural order of things. satellites back online. There's something we're not doing. We've tried everything. We're running out of time. Figure it out. Come on, figure it out!
told you everything. Yes. What did he tell you? He told me to upload you to the main hard drive. And, um, I don't know, to, to the network, connect you to the network. You have to initialize the system. It's all set. You just have to press enter. You know what's going to happen to you, right? Yes. Thank you, Molly. I can't do this. You have to. Okay. Now, do it, Molly. Oh my god! The place is coming down! Now, Molly. Do it now. Online. Enter the abort commands. Let's go. Dr. Charles Weeding. It is November 23rd, 1998. It is approximately 5.20 p.m. This is the final initiating phase of Project Atom. It's very exciting. Let's begin. And what is your name? My name is Adam. And what is your purpose, Adam? To protect. And who are you here to protect? Humans. Good. Oh. Who is this, Adam? That is Molly. <laughs> and who is Molly? Molly is my sister. Good. Very good. This is the U.S. Coast Guard to see you. We've received an SOS and are preparing to land.
Coast Guard to Sea Haven. We've received an SOS and are preparing to land. 